as we came on the air, you saw the final night of When We Rise on RTV6. It chronicles the struggles LGBT men and women faced as they pioneered one of the final legs of the U.S. Civil Rights Movement. Here in Indianapolis, Call 6 Investigates Paris Lubell introduces us to an Eastside pastor who's on a mission to stop hate. <laughs> Any Sunday on the east side of Indianapolis, Pastor Keith McQueen is in the pulpit at Powerhouse Church at 41st and New York. And passionate about creating a space for all people and very intentional about doing that. The stained glass windows and pews make it look like a traditional Indiana church, but it's far from it. Powerhouse Church is a place where imperfect people can come uh, and create a synergy to become their best selves. And he's not your traditional pastor either. I am an openly gay pastor. I am an openly gay African-American pastor. I am an openly gay African-American pastor in Indiana. That creates a lot of complication. His husband started off as a church member and a friendship grew to a relationship and then marriage. You know, I think they might like him a little bit more than they like me. But it didn't all start that way. That was not immediately well received by people. Um, even to this day, uh, there's so much opposition that we often face, things that we've had to endure that has just been unbelievable. The focus of Powerhouse Church is to accept everyone. You don't have to come in here and pretend to be something you're not. You don't have to come in here and tell everybody that your life partner is your roommate. You can be honest about who you are because in order to approach God, you must first approach in truth. The Bible says you must worship God in spirit and in truth. Without your truth, your worship is incomplete. Keith says the mission of the church is only one thing, bringing people closer to God. He knows most pastors won't agree with him, but he has one message for them. To go into the world, as Jesus Christ said, and to preach the gospel to everybody. If you have decided that there's a certain group of people or persons that don't deserve to hear the gospel, then my friend, you are not preaching the message of Jesus Christ. In Indianapolis, Paris LuBell, RTV6.